in the language of our people, we want you to die land. It is my great pleasure to congratulate all the finalists in the 2020 Zest Awards. Welcome to Zest 2020. I'm Chris Barth, one of your co-hosts. It's wonderful to be back and with me, he's always here, Tom Nance. Uh, I think I'm becoming part of the furniture at this stage. I think Chris. it's safe to say you are. Yeah. Definitely. Now, you're also the creative director of the awards. Yeah, I, I am. I prefer you remove the air quotes though, Chris. Well, no, I just because I think in 2020 we were all pivoting and doing all this crazy stuff. You had to be exceptionally creative to get the awards to happen. I mean, look at us. We're socially distant. We are. We are. You surprised the winners in Zoom meetings. We did. We Does did. that mean you told lies to them? Yes. Yes, in short, yes, we did lie to them, but it was for a good cause. We lured them in under false pretenses just so we could surprise them with some good news. Wow, did you even lie to the outstanding community sector leaders who we're about to recognise in this award? Chris, we lied especially to the outstanding community <laughs> sector leaders. Tell me what this award recognises. So look, this award is all about the leaders who are within the sector. Now the sector employs tens of thousands of people, but this category focuses in on some of those leaders who are achieving great things. Now I know this is close to your heart because it's brought to you by Liverpool Council. Yeah. Look, I'm a Liverpool boy, um, I make uh, no secret of that. And I'm really proud that Liverpool Council are joining us again this year as one of our sponsors. And Mayor Wendy Waller in particular has been a big advocate. So thank you, Madam Mayor, and thank you, Liverpool Council. So let's see um, what Mayor Wendy Waller had to say to us earlier. Liverpool City Council is proud to sponsor the Zest Awards through the Outstanding Community Sector Leader Award. It is unfortunate that we are unable to meet and congratulate you in person at this time, but thankfully we can still recognise the outstanding achievements of members of our community and publicly award you in a virtual space. We recognise the commitment of individuals who work tirelessly behind the scenes delivering progressive, innovative and inspiring projects that make a positive difference in our local communities. On behalf of the Liverpool City Council, I thank you and applaud you and would like to wish all the nominees the very best. Thank you, Madam Mayor and Liverpool City Council. Now, Tom, this is always a really popular category. Tell me a little bit about some of the stories this year. Look, now, this is definitely an inspirational category and there were a number of people who inspired me personally um, who were nominated for this award. They're able to not only come up with ideas but also bring people along with them. And I know that our independent judging panel was deliberating this for quite some time. Someone received a highly commended this year, so let's see who they are. The Highly Commended Award goes to Auntie Bev Eaton. Congratulations, Auntie Bev. Now, we're lucky enough that we actually have not one Chris, but two winners this year. And we're now going to see what happened when the Mayor surprised one of them earlier. Thank you so much for sharing. But I actually, um, I, I have to say, I have some news for you. Um, and the news is that um, I'm here to actually let you know that you've actually won. Oh. And I'm going to read it out, what you've won, just to make sure <laughs> right, right term thing. You've won the Outstanding Community Sector Leader Award for Zest 2020. Congratulations. And I would like to present this award to you virtually. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. That's so, uh, I'm, I'm really humbled. And uh, uh, literally, I, I did not expect any nomination. Literally, I did not expect anything because this is what I believe in. And you should be incredibly proud. And the forum is so proud, proud with the mayor to recognise you in this way. Uh, you do wonderful work and keep on doing it. How gracious was Ghassan when he was told that he'd won and I'm very happy to say he joins us now. G'day Ghassan, congratulations. So Ghassan, how special was it for you being recognised for your years of work in the sector? I'm, I'm really uh, privileged and humbled with this. Uh, it is, as you know, it is part of our daily work but uh, uh, it is, uh, this acknowledgement uh, gives us uh, a bit of boost to feel that we are on the right track. Uh, as you know, we uh, we try our best to keep children safe and to work on the continuum of care of the children for them to be 
uh, like to be proactive to uh, support communities regarding their uh, uh, understanding what child protection is and uh, to uh, post the uh, care is need for children to stay with culture and need to be with people from the same background. So uh, uh, the, we do this work at settlement service on a daily basis, but uh, this acknowledgement uh, is a boost for us to continue what we're doing and we are humbled with this. Thank you very much for this. Because I'm probably a tough question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What is one thing that you're, you're very proud of in your career? One, we are working as part of a team, which is great. Uh, we, uh, like from the day one of my career, I, uh, I focused a lot on uh, children, welfare, well safe, uh, safety and well-being and uh, children to stay in their communities when they cannot stay with their parents as well to keep communities awareness regarding child protection and the need of carers that means children to be safe and stable until we work with their parents and so i am uh, i am really proud of uh, the team at settlement services i am really proud of uh, my uh, of the communities who uh, who are engaged with us and who are responsive to the needs of the children uh, that's the main like uh, after that like I am proud of what uh, we have achieved during all these years and uh, we hope that uh, down the track we have less children entering into the system mm, definitely Ghassan and uh, I guess our last question today is what does the future hold for you Ghassan another 30 40 years in the sector I'm hoping Ah, no, 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 no. So, uh, uh, what the future holds for me, who knows, who knows. Uh, it, my passion is always to uh, work and advocate uh, for children. So it might be directly or indirectly. Uh, uh, it might be in a therapeutic world. It, it might be in family group conferences where we bring families and communities together. But uh, it is 100% is going to be around children, community and family. Well, Ghassan, we look forward to seeing what you do do in the future. Congratulations to you and congratulations to the team. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wasn't he humble, Chris? I really love the work that Ghassan does. And so as we wrap up, I'd like to take the opportunity to congratulate our winner again, along with all of our other nominees. Also, of course, a big thank you to both Mayor Wendy Waller and Liverpool City Council. My home council, keep up the good work. So thank you again for your sponsorship of Zest 2020. And if you particularly enjoyed this episode, we'd love you to share it on social media and spread the word about some of the amazing work that's being done in Western Sydney. And of course, we have other episodes on offer that you may find equally inspiring, Tom. I'm off to do that right now. We'll see you all later.